Cruel Sentru here once again with my Let's Play of Red Faction Guerrilla. Um, I'm actually going to see if I can actually do what I've been trying to remember to do for ages now. Uh, this will be a bit of a closer path if I start at this other place. And then maybe I'll grab... Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> I think I probably should at least show you what that one... Um, or what you might call it. It's almost over, Mason. Yeah, yeah it is almost over. Um, transporter mission. I knew it was the racing one. I was trying to figure out the actual name. My my brain just spaces these things. It doesn't work so well. I mean, heck, I just said last time I'm not good at memorization. I've been playing this game for quite some time. I mean, I've beaten it all the way from beginning to end. I think two or three times, and this will be one more time on top of that. I mean, it's a fun game. And you guys are really blocking the road, you know that? Oh well, okay, let me see where I'm at. Get an idea of the road situation. I'm actually gonna see if I can get over here. Let's go ahead and while we're at it, just kinda keep an eye out for things like the mining that needs to be done. Just so we can get that done and out of the way once and for all. And uh, in the meantime, yeah, there's some nice red spots over there, but I think we're gonna blow those up later. At the very least, I'm pretty sure there's a mission there later that will repair them all, so, you know, not much point. Come on. Darn vehicle spinning out of control again. Anyway, so back to the free fire zone. Nothing really left in here to do, I mean. Alright, so last time I was here... Had a yellow glowy... And I am continually forgetting to go find that little... Uh, what do they call the actual name? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. You know, I've got some better vehicles here I may upgrade to. Um, did they rebuild this place or did I just not get a chance to level that much? No, it's, it's partially damaged. Alright, I see the green dot on radar. Ba Blast from the past, that's what it's called. Okay, see, now I've got the jump pack. I can get up these ledges that you can't normally get to. And here we go. Come on. What? Ah, oh, you jerks! They put an invisible wall up here. Why? I mean, let's be realistic here. I have to go there. Ah. Oh. Man, that is just poor game design. I'm sorry, it is. I mean, I know what invisible walls are technically for. That to keep players out of areas they shouldn't be able to get to. For example, uh, getting off the map entirely to an area where, basically... I mean, if you go past the end of most worlds, what you're going to find is there's areas that are very sparse in these games and whatnot. Sorry, habit. Don't really need to take out... Forgot I don't need to take out those uh, EDF supply crates anymore. Finally. Anyways, um... If you go past the edge of one of these maps, you get some areas that get increasingly less detailed as you go out, and there's just a few sparse little things just to, for looks, and then it, once you're far enough out where they don't think you'll actually ever see it, they just stop drawing entirely. And that's actually sensible, to be honest. They're trying to give me a vehicle. Uh, but I have to... Let me know if you're gonna hit some drones. Get over here. All this work from some stupid Blast the Past mission. Uh, come on. Here we go. Alright, so... Anyways. Yeah. There we go. Let's take a look. Never should have signed on for the Mars detail, but someone has to put these miners in their place. Mars belongs to Earth. It's not theirs for the taking. Yeah. So, won't well, miss that guy. Looks like that actually might have been, yeah, I could have walked up there, potentially jumped up, whatever, without the jump pack. But I didn't know. Alright, so this is the vehicle that I hate. Resisting the urge to smash to pieces before I start. 
<laughs> so, let's do a couple runs of it. Sam, there's a vehicle here with one of those transmitters. Can you what? deliver it to the safe house? Okay. Looked for a minute like the uh, lights were shining diagonally. Don't do that already. And one or twice of something slowing down like that is all it takes to fail this mission outright. I mean, not just not get pro time, to completely fail the mission. Now, the thing with this vehicle is that it gets air time on the slightest bump. Like, really bad, flip you all, all around air time. And so that's part of the problem. Part of, of course, is that these are not controls meant for the PC. This is the one part of the port, the PC, that I felt was very poorly done. Is that the vehicle controls are not up to par for what they would need to be to be able to actually make these reasonable challenges. I mean, I've played some racing games, you know, like Mario Kart and a couple others and decided to not that I really didn't care for most racing games. Yeah, I probably already failed the mission, but we'll see how close we get. No, I'm serious. I probably already failed the mission. It's that bad. And this isn't helping. See, it keeps throwing me off the path. Literally, I can't control it. It's just, it's bad controls. And so if you didn't have these types of bad controls, we had a, a smoother turning, it really wouldn't be such a big deal. But... Anyways, I've ranted about these enough. It's just that this one is especially frustrating. So, basically, you're having to go all the way out, as I recall, to the uh, Wastelands area, basically. Uh, what do you call it? It's not the Wasteland. Badlands, maybe? I think it might be called Badlands. Anyways, that's a long, long ways out, man. In only two and a half minutes? Alright, this is where you have to make this jump because this bridge is almost always totaled. Now, thankfully, if you make the jump right, and I've had a lot of practice from failing all the time on this mission, um, it's actually not so bad. You're not really going to lose much time. Now, there's other stuff later on that causes you trouble. Now, this is a fast vehicle, don't get me wrong. And if you want fast, you know, fast racing missions, this is going to be fun. It's just that its uh, speed also causes some other trouble. There we go. Turn around a bit. Alright, so the other thing is that I took out that bridge because it was a high priority target. And because of that, this is a nigh impossible mission. It's just how it was designed. And if this release wasn't leveled, that would also make it pretty much impossible because of how you spin out there and how fast this vehicle moves. So again, you have to have everything just so. That's not the best design. Yeah, that bridge is the one that has to be intact to have a reasonable chance of completing this whole thing. In fact, I have an idea. This may not be the best idea, but I'll go for it anyways. Oh no, no we're not going to the one in uh, Badlands or whatever. We're going out to Oasis. That's right. <sighs> I guess the bridge won't matter then. Not that much. I mean, it matters, just not as much. Alright, see how we can do this. Okay, now I know we're gonna get some time here. I'd cut corners, but I know how this airtime is. Try to hit the brakes just so I can turn. It's pretty tough. You know what? This is good time. I am really surprised. I think it's because last time I did it, I literally had... Yeah, yeah. As soon as I say it. Anyways, I literally had gotten extremely... Uh, fought, well, I'd, I'd done this over and over and over type thing. I tried to get it right. And uh, so I have a lot of practice with it now. Alright, so there's like no chance I'm going to make this, but I'm going to go ahead and... Well, I was going to turn around and try to make that jump, but I couldn't turn at all. You know, you saw the end within sight. I'm calling it good. I'm serious. I'm not... I'm not messing with it. I mean, that's all we were going to. So you saw the end. You have an idea. Um, you don't... 
really have much opportunity. You know what? I didn't have the opportunity to smash this vehicle, but now I do. Good bye. Ah, <sighs> that's better. <laughs> all right. So I think all we did was really dig around and find that one a weird out of place glowy with a uh, invisible wall no and blocking it no more fear. which yeah there are war. times when you want to keep people from basically like going off the edge of the map or something the invisible walls but even then you kind of hide the invisible walls they don't hide them very well here and there was no reason because i mean what the heck there's no reason to stop you from going over that cliffside anyways weird stuff didn't i Oh, people moving in and out. We should be All right. Where is it? Ah, oh, silence. Beautiful silence. <laughs> All right. I'll see you all next time.